What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do the Bring Back the Intimacy reading for the sign of Cancer. Okay, Cancer, you guys are third this week on the Zodiac lineup. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next. Okay. We are using the Sexual Magic Tarot as always. Remember you guys, if you are not above 18, you need to go that way, okay? Because there is nudity on these cards, okay? I will hold them up to the screen for you guys, but I won't hold them there for long, all right? Y'all know the drill. Let's pick three, and then we'll go into the Goddess and Animal Spirits for the Divine Feminine and Masculines, okay? One from the top, one from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you guys. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, Cancer, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Knave of Swords, which would be the Knight of Swords, okay? So, Seven of Pentacles is here, okay? Two people laying together after a little romp around, if you will, okay? Um, <laughs> looks like some very playful energy here. I'm trying to see what's around her wrist. Looks like some little tying up, things of that nature. There's candles, burning sheets, things of that nature. Um, it feels as though with this Seven of Pentacles cancer, there is some type of two things. Either someone that you can go a long time with, okay? Meaning as in, there's a couple of sessions that y'all have, okay? Um, like all night long type sessions, or this is in reference to someone that um, you've known for a very long time, okay? With this Seven of Pentacles here. There's then this Queen of Pentacles, okay, um, where she is pretty much someone of value, okay? So either you are very valued by someone, okay, they know your worth, Cancer, okay, and so they do treat you as the queen that you know you are or feel you are or they call you their queen, okay? Um, and so they pretty much worship the ground that you walk on, okay? Um, you are very highly valued at this time. And then you have the Knave of Swords, okay? This person obviously feels a way about you. They admire your body, Cancer, okay? Um, and they have no problems with telling you, okay? They pay you um, a tremendous amount of compliments, okay? There's no um, disconnect in communication when it comes to the two of you, okay? So there's someone in your midst that you have been dealing with either for a long time or, um, like I said, y'all can go a very long time, okay? <laughs> and so do you cancer? Okay, the libido is up, 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 okay? Um, get in where you fit in, okay? So I, I feel as though this, you get everything you want out of this relationship, okay? Maybe you haven't really solidified it, but you're just, you know, really enjoying the vibe of the relationship, okay? Y'all try new things out. Like I said, there's, she's getting a little tied up, okay? Um, maybe handcuffing, things of that nature, um, really admiring your body, um, 
like I said, with this queen of pentacles in the middle, it's like treating you like the queen that you are or king that you are getting where you fit in. Okay. Um, but you are definitely of value to this person and they are willing to invest in you if you're willing to have them. Okay. So that being said, let's go into the divine feminines, um, and pick a goddess card out for you guys. I think I'm going to go here with it, okay? The goddess that Cancer Divine Feminines is embodying is the changing woman. The changing woman, okay? Changing woman is perhaps the most revered of deities among the Native Americans of the Southwestern United States. She is a holy benevolent figure for it is changing woman who gives the people their abundance and who provides the teachings that allow them to live in harmony with all things. In the initiation ceremony of Navajo women, the initiate takes in the power of changing woman so that she might learn the values of love, hospitality, and generosity and know that she herself is a source of food and harmony. Changing woman received her name because she can, she can change at will from a baby to a girl to a young woman to an old woman and then back again. Very much alive today, she is a tremendously nourishing goddess who teaches the wisdom of nature and the cycles of birth and death. Okay, so divine feminines, you are embodying the changing woman. Okay, this person is probably very enamored with you because of the fact that you um, have this ability to stay young at heart and also impart wisdom. You seem very mature. Um, you are able to handle yourself. Um, you're very independent. Um, you can pretty much change at will, um, from, you can go zero to a hundred, your libido, your maturity level, things of that nature. You can be soft, you can be hard. There's so many facets to you, and I think that's why they enjoy you so much, okay? And so, um, it's ever-changing. Your relationship stays very entertaining and fun. Um, there's never a dull moment with you, okay? Um, and so, and that's why they're so intrigued by you, okay? And that's why you're such um, you're very valued by them. Okay. Divine masculines, let's pick out an animal spirit for you guys. I'm going to go here with it. Okay. Divine masculines, you have the King Fisher the king fisher okay king fisher symbolizes peace abundance and love the king fisher is named for both its dark crest which suggests royalty and its skill in hunting fish unlike other birds the female of the species is more colorful than the male in greek mythology the bird is the reincarnation of halcyone and her husband, Syax. Halcyone threw herself into the sea after discovering the drowned body of Syax. Her devotion impressed the gods, who then transformed the couple into two kingfishers. In further tribute, the gods also made the seas calm and the weather fair for the seven days, both preceding and following the shortest day of the year, the so-called Halcyone Days. The female bird's colorful appearance is thought to reflect Halcyone's unmatched love for her husband. The kingfisher is commonly associated with peace and the promise of good fortune. In the painting, Juniper, the planet of abundance, appears as a reminder of that promise. Okay, so divine masculines and your person, you and your person are pretty much the equivalent of abundance and love at this time, okay? As 
this picture shows, you know, the two of them sharing just this singular chair um, with the both of them in it. You love cradling and cuddling with each other. Um, your relationship speaks of good fortune um, at this time, okay? Um, it's a whole vibe that you have intimate intimately with this person okay you value this person you enjoy spending time with this person you are very enamored by this person okay um and it's possible either you or your person will do any and everything for you okay and so there is good fortune surrounding you um stay in this energy of peace abundance and love okay as you're being very intimate with this person okay um and like i said with the seven of pentacles it's talking about you know being with this person either for a very long time um you have history with this person uh you know this person very well okay um however for others of you it could just be sexually y'all got it going on okay um but nonetheless that's all i have for you guys okay you guys have three more readings this week until then peace <laughs>